Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. For today's video, I have something so, so exciting to share with you guys. I am adopting bunnies. So I think I've mentioned it a couple times on my Instagram and maybe once here on YouTube that my boyfriend and I have been looking into adopting bunnies for quite some time now. I have actually been looking at bunnies and doing research on bunny care for almost a year now. So this has been something that I have been wanting to do for a very, very long time. And since my boyfriend and I moved into this apartment about a couple months ago in August, we have been looking for a pair of bunnies to adopt and we have just finally found the perfect ones and I literally could not be more excited. But we have been looking since August, like I said, and we have been looking specifically for a bonded pair of bunnies because I didn't want to have to go through the process of bunny bonding. Um, going through the process of bonding my guinea pigs has been enough for me and I know that bunny bonding is like 10 times more intense than guinea pig bonding. And so I just wanted to avoid having to bond bunnies, which is why we have been looking for a bonded pair. And in addition to this, I wanted a bonded pair that was already fixed because when bunnies are housed together, they should be spayed or neutered. So we were looking for a pair of bonded bunnies that were already fixed that were in my area. And believe it or not, that was literally like the hardest thing thing to find. Like I said, we've been looking lightly since August and like heavily searching for about the past month. So for the past month, I have literally been all over the internet, like scouring the internet for a pair of bonded bunnies. I've been in Facebook groups. I've been checking my local SPCA, any local rescues literally in the entire state, rescues out of the state, like rescues just literally within like three hour driving distance, literally looking everywhere. I don't know what it is about bonded pairs of bunnies that was so hard to find, but my local SPCA does spay and neuter all of their bunnies, but they mostly only have single bunnies. And like I said, I didn't want to go through bonding bunnies. And then in all of my Facebook groups, there were just so many like, like backyard breeders, just so many inexperienced people just breeding bunnies and selling them. So obviously those bunnies were not fixed. Um, and if I did find bonded pairs in those Facebook groups, they were not fixed either. Even though your bunny should be fixed, if you're going to have a bonded pair, you need to be fixing your bunnies. But apparently, you know, people on Facebook uh, do not know that. So I was really, really struggling. All the fixed bunnies in these Facebook groups were alone. They didn't have bonded pairs. And I think I mentioned it in my Q&A video, but I haven't necessarily been in like a rush to adopt bunnies per se. Um, we know, my boyfriend and I knew that we wanted a bonded pair. We knew that we wanted them already fixed and that was sort of the criteria and we weren't really going to sort of go back on that. So we were just willing to like wait as long as we needed to, to find the right pair of bunnies. But very exciting news, we have found the perfect pair. I literally one night, it was about a week and a half ago, I had just like basically completely given up on my search uh, for this year just because the holidays were approaching. I was like, it's not really the best time to adopt a new pet with the holidays and with traveling and everything. So I was like, I guess I'll just wait till after the new year. Like, and then I literally just out of like frustration, literally just Googled like rabbits for rehoming in North Carolina, which is a state that I live in. And then literally this random website popped up and it was like rabbits for rehome, I think. I'll put it on the screen what the website was called, but it was like rabbits for rehome or like rehoming rabbits, sort of similar to guinea pig finder that I've used to find some of my guinea pigs. I guess it was sort of the same kind of website, just I hadn't ever heard of it, but we found this pair of bonded bunnies and their names are Crow and Luna and they are Lops. I'm not sure if they're Holland lops or mini lops. I think they're probably just like regular standard Holland lops from the picture. I'm sure I'll, when I see them in person, I'll be able to know better, but they're only an hour away from me and they are a bonded pair and they're fixed and they're actually brother and sister, which is so cute and so exciting. 
and I've been talking to the owner a lot over text and she seems super, super sweet. The bunnies are four years old and she's owned them since they were eight weeks old. She said she actually rescued them from someone who I think was going to sell them as like meat rabbits. And um, the only reason she's looking to rehome them is just because she's gotten so busy with life and she's got like a new job and she just doesn't have the time to spend with them that she would like to. And so yeah, that's basically it. Um, that's how I found the bunnies and we're going tomorrow morning to pick them up and I literally could not be more excited. As you guys can see behind me, I have a ton of stuff here that I'm going to show you guys. A little haul back here of some of the things that I have been buying for them. But what's really, really good about this is since it is a rehoming situation, the bunnies are going to come with pretty much all of their stuff. So she's going to be giving me, I think they have either one or two X pens that she's going to give me as well as like their litter box and I'm sure like their hides and toys and some of their food as well. But all the stuff here is behind me. I'm going to do a little haul in just a moment, but I did want to give some details about how I was going to be housing them before people start asking about that. I thought I would just go ahead and let you guys know. So I'm currently sitting in the area where I will be keeping the bunnies in their X pen. So this is the corner of my kitchen where I'm going to be keeping them. It's sort of like where you would put a dining room table, except my boyfriend and I don't use a dining room table. So this is where the bunnies are going to be going. It is a 24 square foot area. So it is three feet by eight feet. And that's where they're going to be staying in their X pen when we're not home. However, when we are home, we're going to let them free roam the living room and kitchen area, which is sort of like our main living space. But I'm super, super excited. And part of the reason I'm doing an X pen to start out with is because we do live in a rental. And she said that they're mainly only destructive with cords. So I have bought cord protectors here behind me, but I just wanna make sure that we can like monitor their destructiveness just because it is a rental and I don't own this apartment and I don't, I would like to avoid any damage fees if possible. So that's why we will only be doing free roam when we are home, at least to start out with. Um, maybe if they tend to be very calm laid back bunnies and they're not destructive, then maybe we will move to free roam full time. But that's, I'm getting too far into all of this. I'm just so excited and I have so many plans and I just feel like I need to share it all with you guys because I feel like I'm going to get a lot of comments and a lot of questions about like my plans for this bunny care journey. And I do wanna say that I, like I said, I have been researching this for literally over a year now. So I've been talking to a lot of people who own bunnies. I've been reading the House Rabbit Society website. I've been watching videos, reading forums, all of that stuff. So I feel very prepared for this. I'm very, very anxious and nervous just because it's been a while since I've owned a new kind of pet. Um, the bunny was, will not be allowed near the guinea pigs. I know some people are concerned about that as am I with the spread of diseases such as Bordetella and stuff. So the bunnies will not be going near the pigs for anyone who was worried about that. Um, but yes, I think the best thing is just to go ahead and get into this haul before it's just me talking on and on for so long. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have for them behind me. So the first thing I have here is my cord protectors. So this is what they look like. I got these off of the Home Depot website, but you can also find them on Amazon. The reason that I got them off Home Depot was because I've been ordering some rugs for the bunnies because we have like fake wood in our living room kitchen area and I know bunnies need traction. So I've been ordering rugs from Home Depot and I wanted to get my order to like the free shipping limit. So that's why I ordered cord protectors from Home Depot. This is the gray color um, that I wanted white, but they didn't have white. And I figured gray is a little less um, annoying to look at than black. So I did get gray cord protectors. This one is five feet and I got four of these. So I got 20 feet of gray cord protectors. All right, and next I have a couple toys. And some of these are new things that I have bought and some of them are old guinea pig stuff. So basically what I'm going to be doing is just to keep in mind the spread of Bordetella from rabbits to guinea pigs is that if I use any of my old guinea pig toys for the bunnies, they're going to like become the bunnies toy and they won't go back to the guinea pigs. That way I can just not have any risk of disease transfer 
transfer because my guinea pigs have so many old toys that they literally just could care less about. So I'm hoping they will be exciting for the bunnies. One of the things I have is this giant um, grass ball, like hay ball right here that is just like huge in comparison to my guinea pigs. They don't really use it. So this would be good for the bunnies. And then Similar material is this grass hay mat. I also tried to give this to my pigs and they didn't care about it one little bit. So gonna see if the bunnies care about it maybe. And then this next thing is something that I originally bought for my guinea pigs, but it is a rabbit sized toy. This is from the Etsy shop Winnie Guinea Poo. And I did buy it for my guinea pigs about a month ago, but I just haven't given it to them yet because it's literally huge as you can see. So I'm thinking it'll be a better toy for the bunnies. And then the next thing I got is just this cat scratcher. So I know bunnies really like to chew cardboard and that cat scratchers are good for that. So I went and got this from Marshalls and it does have catnip in here, which I'm just going to throw in the trash. But I bought this just for the cardboard. It was only a couple of dollars thought it would give them something else exciting to chew. Also for Marshalls, I bought this bed um, right here. I'm looking at it and I really don't know if it's too big for them because I don't have a picture in my mind of how large they are. She said they're about four pounds each. So we'll have to see, but I bought this bed. It's a dog bed. I got it from Marshalls. It was around $30 and I just dropped it. But um, it's a was a little bit more expensive than I was wanting to spend, but I really, really liked it. And I wanted to have a nice comfy bed for them. And I didn't buy too many other hides besides that because I am assuming since they're coming with all of their stuff, they will be coming with some of their hides as well. And then this is sort of something uh, DIY that I have been doing the past week is that this is a box from Chewy that like came in one of my Chewy orders and I have filled it with paper towel rolls here. So, or toilet paper rolls. I literally just went around my house and collected all of our old toilet paper rolls and then put them in this box. And I'm thinking it'll be a good foraging toy. You can put like forages and pellets in here. And the good thing about bunnies is that I have a ton of forages and my guinea pigs don't like them at all. They literally could care less about the forages. So hopefully the bunnies will care more about the forages that I own and I can have a pet actually enjoy them because my guinea pigs don't care about the forages. And I've been keeping all this stuff in this giant box right here. This is just a plain box. It has some tape on it, but besides the tape, there's not really much like print on it besides that. So I thought I might cut some holes out of this and it could be fun for them to hide in just depending on how many hides that they come with. I'm gonna try and lift this bag up for you guys, but it's literally 40 pounds. I have these right here. This is the Tractor Supply Pine Pellet Bedding. I have been wanting to try this bedding out for my guinea pigs for a long time. And then I was talking to the owner of the bunnies. She said that she actually uses this Tractor Supply Kiln Dried Pine Pellet for her bunny's litter box. So I thought that I would go ahead and get this just because it's what they've already been using, as well as I wanted to try it out with my guinea pigs. So this is a 40 pound bag and I got two of them and they're only like $6 each, $6 for a 40 pound bag. So it's super, super cheap and they are kiln dried. I did go on the website and it doesn't say on the bag, but on the website it says that they are kiln dried. So I got two of those 40 pound bags. And then I just got them a little water bowl here. After I bought this, I realized that they're probably coming with a water Water dish, but they can have two water dishes now. So I just went ahead and got this. This is from Petco and it's just this really heavy ceramic water bowl. So hopefully they won't be able to tip this over. And then I got them this pellet food. This is the Oxbow Garden Select Adult Rabbit Food. And I feed my guinea pigs Oxbow Garden Select as well. And I was also talking to the owner and she said that they have had oxbow and one other kind of food that I can't remember. They've had those two kinds of food before. So I'm hoping that they will transition smoothly to the oxbow garden since they have had it before. So this is just a little four pound bag that I got off of Chewy. And then I got them a little container for their food as well. Uh, this is also from Marshall. So just a little food container. And then this isn't something that I necessarily bought, but I did just already have these. They are these little, metal grids. So this is what I use. These are CNC grids. I don't know why I said little metal grids. 
or CNC grids. Anyway, this is what I have for my guinea pigs for their play pen. And the reason that I have these is because like I said, the dimensions of the X pen area are going to be three feet by eight feet because that's what works in this space. And that's what size my rug is. But unfortunately, um, X pens, the, each panel of an X pen is only two feet wide. So I'm gonna be using these grids to zip tie to the X pen in order to make the pan one of the panels three feet long. You'll see once I get them and once I set it all up, it'll make more sense. But that's why I have these just to make my X pen the right dimensions for their area. And then next up you guys can see back here is my old air purifier. This is the Lavoit pet air purifier. And I actually used to use it in my guinea pig room until I got them a new air purifier. So luckily this one can now be moved out to next to the bunny area so that I they can also have an air purifier fire and its filter was expired like it had like the red filter light on or whatever so I went ahead and got a new one last time I got a new filter some people were telling me I could just vacuum the filter and I did do that for a while to make it last a little longer but I just feel like the filters really gross that no amount of vacuuming can fix that so I wanted to go ahead and get a new one for them so I went ahead and just got a new air purifier or new air filter for my air purifier. And I'm actually just gonna scoot over here because I don't feel like dragging this thing up front to show you guys, but this is a pet gate that I got off of Chewy. So I have a hallway in my apartment that leads to my guinea pig room, like my laundry room and my bathroom. And I wanted to block off that hallway from the bunnies just because I wanna be able to leave the door to my guinea pig room open, but not have the bunnies go in. So my solution is just to block off the entire hallway. So I don't have to worry about them getting into the bathroom or the laundry room as well. So that's what this uh, pet gate is for. It's like one of the expandable ones because like since it's a hallway entrance, it's not like the standard door frame size. So this one has like, it can expand to like multiple lengths, if that makes sense. So I bought this pet gate here. I think it was around $50 on Chewy, I want to say. I'll link it down below. It had a lot of really good reviews and the door swings open both directions and lashes shut on its own. And everyone seemed to really like it in the, in the reviews. So I'm excited about that uh, pet gate. I keep calling it a baby gate, but it's not a baby gate. It's for, it's a pet gate. It literally says like in like a huge warning on the box, it's like for pets only. So it's a pet gate, not a baby gate. But um, that was one of the main things that I wanted to get before we did any free roaming with them, just because I want to block them off from that hallway so they can't get to the pigs and they can't get to any of other like stuff that is in that area. So yes, that is everything that I have here for you guys. Um, also this rug that I'm sitting on right here is from Home Depot. That is the base for their X pen. Um, it was only $35, which is super cheap. And like I said, it's three by eight feet and it's a very low pile rug as well. But that will be the base of their X pen. And that is everything that I have gotten for them. And I'm just literally beyond excited to go pick them up tomorrow. So it's currently Saturday, like, afternoon, evening, and we're going tomorrow morning to go pick them up. So I, I'm just so excited. Like I literally know that I have been rambling for like half of this video, just about how excited I am to adopt bunnies, but I truly am like the most excited. And it's something that I wanted to do for a really long time. It's something my boyfriend has also wanted to do. He's also been really interested in owning bunnies. So they're going to be sort of like our pet together, which is super exciting. So I'm very excited. Um, I know I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again that I'm very excited, but I'm just gonna end this little clip here because I don't really think I have too much more to say besides just talking about how excited I am. But tomorrow I will update you guys in the morning when we are on the way there. And also I do wanna note um, before people get worried, I do have hay, I do own guinea pigs, so I do already have hay. It's just in the guinea pig room, just so it's not out here with me, but I do have hay, so do not worry, I have hay. Yes, I'm very excited, so yeah, I will just see you guys tomorrow before we go to pick them up. All right, everyone, it is now Sunday morning and we are about to leave to go get them. It's only about a 30 minute drive there, a 30 minute drive back. So it's not gonna be too long, but um, I will keep you guys updated. I'm not really bringing anything in the car. That's coffee. 
Yes, because that's coffee. The only thing we're bringing in the car is coffee, and I have a tiny bag of hay right here because I I don't know. I mean, I'm sure she's going to have hay. They're coming with all of their stuff, so. She's probably gonna have hay, but it's early for us. But anyway, so we're about to leave. It's just gonna be 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back, and I will keep you guys updated when we are there, when we're on the way, and hopefully when we have them soon. Here they are. Oh my gosh. Hi. This is Crow, and then Luna's in the back right there. So cute. I don't want to talk too long because it's cold outside. So we're gonna go ahead and get them home. But I just wanted to show you guys here they are. And I'll give you more updates once we're home. All right, everyone. So we just got home and I have them in the carrier right here beside me. You can't see it. They're right here beside me in their carrier. And then behind me is where, of course, their setup is going to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set them up here that way they can get out of their carrier and get moving around but i am literally like beyond excited the owners were so so sweet like literally the nicest people i have met like picking up pets they were absolutely wonderful and i'm just so excited to get them into their x pen they gave me two x pens that they had as well as like their litter box their food some more bedding, some of their hides, just stuff like that. So I'm pretty excited. And then also one more thing that came in the mail um, is just this laundry hamper right here. I went and got this just cause I'm gonna put their hay in it. That way I can have their hay in the living room without them like being able to like get to it. So that's why I got this laundry hamper. But that's not the point. The point is that I get to set up their little pen now. I'm super, super excited. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just quickly film myself doing that. And then I'll show you guys them getting to settle in. And also obviously like, a better picture of what they look like because you can't really see the carrier. So I'm really, really excited to have them in their little pen. All right, so I just quickly set up their little X-Pen. Um, it's two X-Pens combined. So it's a little wonky over here where they're like overlapping, but my air purifier's here. And then this is the closest outlet. So this cord is like protected right here as well. And then this is their litter box. And then this is the bed that I got for them. And then this is a hide that they came with. And then a toy here. And there is another toy over here. And this is a toy that they came with as well. Their water bowl and then this cat scratcher cardboard thing for them to chew on. So it's pretty basic to be honest, but I just wanna get them in there and then hopefully they can just have a chance to settle in. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in here. All right, everyone, here they are behind me. Um, I literally don't think you can see them from this angle, but I promise they're in here. Um, I'm gonna try and get lots and lots of clips of them, but mostly it's just gonna be them settling in. And then I'm gonna talk the next few days about how they're settling in and all of that. I didn't put their crate in the pen, so I took the door off the crate and put that in the pen. So hopefully that makes them feel comfortable as well. And as well as that little house, the gray house right there, that's from their old home. So that should make them feel good too. And then that's pretty much it. Um, the food she gave me is the Oxbow brand, but it's like the Essentials Oxbow. And I bought them the Garden Oxbow. So I'm gonna be slowly getting them off the Essentials and onto the Garden. But it is good that they're eating Oxbow, so it shouldn't be too hard of a transition. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really have anything else to say. I'm just gonna give lots of little updates and keep you guys updated. Lots of little clips, lots of funny stuff. I'm super, super excited. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All 
All right, everyone, so it is now the evening and I'm about to feed them veggies for the first time. Uh, we just went, got back from the grocery store, so I got a few different kinds of veggies to feed them, but they've been doing pretty good. The main thing is I have been like monitoring where they've been pooing. So you can see there's a lot of, a couple poos outside of the litter box. So I have just been picking those up with a paper towel and then throwing them in the box. And you can see they've started to recognize that this is their litter box. They are already litter box trained, but they sort of need to like learn that this is where their new box is going to be. And then those paper towels in there, those are um, soaked with their pee because they peed underneath where this litter box is now. So I originally had it in that corner. Then they peed over here. So I soaked it up with the paper towels threw it in the box and then moved the box over. So far it seems to be working except for the few stray poos, but those don't really matter. Here they are. They haven't been doing much. They've mostly just been napping and then eating a little bit. Um, Luna has not gone in the litter box yet. So I guess we're just gonna wait for her to realize that that is her litter box. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and feed them their veggies. All right, this is their salad for tonight. I'm not giving them very much. Stop, don't give it to them yet. I was talking about the salad. <laughs> um, anyway, this is their salad. Um, it has kale, green leaf lettuce, and arugula. I didn't give them too much because I don't know how often they've had veggies. And I've been reading that they get one cup for every two pounds of body weight. So they would be getting probably about four cups between the two of them because she said they each weigh four pounds. But for today, we're just doing about this much and I guess we're just gonna feed it to them. I don't know how familiar they are with veggies, but we'll see. Hey. the next morning and it looks like they've done pretty good about using their litter box. There's just a couple of stray poos, but nothing too bad. I don't know when I should spot clean the box just because I wanna make sure that their smell is in it. So they like really understand that it's theirs, but I'm just gonna quickly clean up their pen, just clean up these little poos over here. And then I'm going to give them some water and then their pellets for this morning. All right, so for their pellets, um, this is what their owner gave me, the essentials bag. And then I have the garden in this container right here. So I'm gonna do about three quarters of the pellets essentials and one quarter garden. So I'm giving them a half cup of pellets, which is a quarter cup each, about that much, and then just add garden the rest of the way to fill up the cup. And there we go. And then hopefully they will eat both kinds of pellets. I'm just gonna go ahead and give this to them. just sort of running my hands through and pulling some of the dead fur off of them. Um, I, my brush hasn't come in the mail and they aren't super comfortable with me yet, so I don't want to freak them out. But I'm mostly just using my hands and trying to like pull away chunks of like dead fur. But he's so soft guys and he's been so sweet. He's a little more shy than Luna, but they both seem to be warming up pretty good. He seems to be like not upset by this, so that's good. He ran away from me earlier when I tried to do it. And I didn't want to push him, but he seems okay now. There's definitely a lot of dead fur back here. And I know there's a ton up under his chest too, like under his chin, but he won't let me get to that part. So we'll have to do that once like my brush comes in the mail. So I ordered the hair buster. So once that comes, It'll be a lot easier to get all their fur out. The razor's four more. I know. Here, you gotta back up so I can give you your pellets. All 
All right, everyone. So it is now Tuesday evening. So they've been home with us for about two and a half days. I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of an update. So they are doing very, very well. They have been warming up to us super well. They seem very calm, very relaxed. They're not hiding. They're laying out in the open. They're grooming each other. And their litter box habits have improved a lot as well. Only a couple of poos has had to litter box which was kind of to be expected i wasn't expecting all of them to always end up in there but no like large clumps or anything so it seems that they are getting used to the space really really well and faster than i expected as well um but they don't really seem to be that scared or anything so we have been petting them i've been coming in here and sitting in the playpen and just spending some time with them i don't ever like force them to be pet or anything i just pet them and if they leave then they leave and i stop just sort of that kind of thing like petting them on their terms just to get them used to me without overwhelming them but it seems to be going really really well and they've been really enjoying this toy crow has like torn this toy apart but i did want to make a couple things i didn't want to say a couple things before um, i end this little vlog but i did want to say that i have made an instagram for them so if you guys are interested in keeping up with crow and luna you can follow autumn's bunnies on instagram i will also have it linked in the description but i did make it separate from my guinea pig instagram just because i wanted you guys to be able to sort of pick and choose which kind of content you want to see on instagram so it's autumn's bunnies definitely go check it out i'm going to be posting lots of cute content about them and in addition to that I did want to say that we are going to be trying um, some free roam time tomorrow so I know it may seem maybe a little bit soon for free roam since that will have been their fourth day here but they have warmed up like I said very very fast and Luna actually was trying to like go out the gate when I had it open this morning so tomorrow we're just going to uh, finish bunny proofing the living room and then just open the gate and see if they choose to go out it I'm not going to force them to try free roam I'll just open the gate and see if they choose to but that's going to be a separate vlog so that will be the next video out after this one so definitely keep an eye out for that but I just didn't want to put it all in one video because I thought it would be a lot and I do want to say the reason we waited a couple days to free roam is because I wanted to get them used to the space and used to us without overwhelming them so that's basically like a little bit of information that I just wanted to share with you all in addition I picked up some more stuff today I just got I got a little scooper for the litter box to separate the sawdust from the still intact wood pellets and then just another little dust pan to help clean up the pen and then while I'm waiting for my hair buster I did get this brush from the Dollar Tree I'm sure it's not very good quality at all but since i don't have my hair buster yet it's taking a couple days longer that i'd like to arrive i did just want to have like something to brush them with so i do have this brush but those are just a couple more things i bought i also had to order a uh, 50 pound box of hay from oxbow off chewy so that was fun that was 60 dollars. but i do need that much hay now that i have bunnies and guinea pigs they're eating a lot of hay so i did need to order that but that's pretty much all i have for today's video i'm going to show you guys some more clips of the bunnies and then i will probably wrap it up so i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video i really really hope you enjoyed and i am super super ecstatic and so so excited to be able to also share bunny content with you guys thank you so so much for watching please leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to see more content about crow and luna thank you guys so so much for watching today's video i really really hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful wonderful day bye bye